Thank you very much. I love the positivity of this land. It's incredible. Whooping. Yeah, that doesn't happen in England. I've never heard anyone ever whoop. Yesterday, a man in a diner came up to me and went, You're English! That's awesome! Like I had anything to do with it. Like I was in my mum's belly. Point yourself towards Westminster. And then he said something magnificent. He honestly looked at me and went, Let me tell you this, man. English women. Oh! Their breasts are amazing. Tell your people, tell your people like I'm going to wander back. Ladies, gather round. I bring word from the new world. They have declared your orbs magnificent. As you were, you fat-titted maidens. Tell your people. I love moments of madness like that. I was in Ireland last year. It was a lovely thing. It's a lady about 70 having a cup of tea and then her phone rang and nobody could have predicted the noise that this sweet old lady's phone would make because from nowhere it just went, I'm too sexy for my shirt. <laughs> she picked it up and went mad. Stop calling me. I've said it before, I will kill you. <laughs> then she turned to me and went, sorry about that, love. My husband changed my ringtone and I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> and you're like, everyone in this room wants to meet that old man and shake him by the hands. You had an image of a 70-year-old man just following his wife around town. Binoculars in hand. She's in a restaurant. Dave, ring the phone, ring the phone now. She doesn't like that. <laughs> this is better than the time you put cocaine in a sugar bowl. <laughs> Look at her go. I love a good prank. Last year, right, we stole my mum's phone at Christmas. We changed every number to make it a famous person. It couldn't have gone better. I pocket dialed my mum. Christmas morning, I swear to God, she looked at me and went, <gasps> Hello, Barack? My mum... <laughs> my mum genuinely believed that the President of the United States had called her. Hello, Barack? I gotta go, Lev. I got Elton John on the other line. I will never tire of teasing my mum. I still get giddy when I go home and I see her shopping list on the kitchen table. If I'm saying, I'll add a few things to mother's list. <laughs> Heroin. <laughs> it's pathetic, but nothing makes me happier than the image of my mum a little bit confused in a supermarket. Got my milk, got my potatoes. What's that say? A big pot of lube for my swingers night. We hit the jackpot one year. She asked the man in the supermarket whether they sold crystal meth because she couldn't remember whether she put it on the list or not. Excuse me, love, you got any crystal meth? <laughs> Gotta go, my phone's ringing. Hello, Beyonce? Stop it! Our favourite game to play, and you have to do this, my friends, it's called the mirror game. Now, the way it works, like, your dad might say something suggestive. Your dad might go, that back door's a bit stiff, and you have to go, Mrrr. <laughs> now, we've been playing this game for 20 years. Does my mum understand the rules? No. <laughs> Does it stop her from joining in? Absolutely not. <laughs> this is why I'm lucky to have been raised by such a joy monkey. I said to a mum the other day, I was like, Oi, do you want a cup of tea? And she honestly looked at me and went, Mrrr. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> you didn't get me, did you, you fabulous dumpling? Let's do this. One more time. It has to sound rude, but not be rude. How can a cup of tea possibly be rude? And my magnificent mum looked at me and went, I don't know, Russ. You could pour it up your ass. Now, <laughs> if you're lucky enough to be raised by a woman like that, it's a treat to take her places. Now, I'm quite famous in the UK. I say that not to show off, but to show you how much joy my mum takes. The other day, we're in a car, right? A bloke got out of his car, I was stuck in traffic. Bloke got out of his car, noticed me, knocked on the window, went, excuse me, are you Russell Howard? Can I have a photo? Now that's fairly weird. It's made even stranger when your mum is next to you going, help! <laughs> He's kidnapped me! He made me buy crystal meth! <laughs> she wasn't done. I took her to a premiere. My sister was in a film. We get there, it's really exciting. Red carpet photos, really cool. Sat there. Halfway through this film that my sister's in, it happened, right? My little sister had sex with an old man. She didn't tell us that was going to happen. <laughs> well, I don't know if you've ever sat down and drawn up a list of things you don't ever want to see. But I would argue at the top of that list will be watching your sweet angel of a little sister have sex with an old man 
when you're sat next to your mum? And my mum looked at me and went, and... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for having me.